Welcome to my first ever unboxing and quite possibly my last. I don't do this for a living. As you can see, my subs count is pff, about 111 and I've been doing, I've had a YouTube channel for 14 years. It's just for me and my mates. Do you like my knife? It's good, isn't it? So let's crack on and go inside. Actually. Okay. okay, let's turn it around. So then we have gigabyte. Different. Nice inside here. We have the quick setup guys, that'll go in the bin. Um, register your product for your warranty. Yeah, what is that? That's pretty. Right, time for the main event. Oh, the graphic card. Else in the box. Well, we have this bad, this bad boy. Looks quite substantial. Right, use my big fat knife. There we go. Wow, it's quite big. Ooh, it's got a little cover. As you can see, a little cover for the. I'll be taking that off. There we go. It's now time to install the graphic card. And I've got to put this inside my box. <laughs> I will have Yoda and Deadpool to keep me company for this exercise. I hope it's clean inside. There we go. I am a professional. As you can hear, my dog is barking around in the background. And at the moment, the power supply only needs a six pin and an eight pin. And that's the six pin. It, it takes up uh, two slots, which is not bad. Minus tech tips makes this look so bloody easy. Oh, well, right, that's all sorted. Now put the case back on. Please give a bow for Mr. Yoda and Mr. Pool. Yay! Oh, 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 oh. I really do need to get out more. Right, we're now into my lovely new computer with this graphic card. The fan is not all that noisy. It's about the same volume as my old graphic card. Okay. Right, so this should be fine. What you're about to see is me playing my latest little uh, projects that I've got on YouTube of the last night before the Black Flu Illuminations were turned. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to basically render this one small clip and see how long it takes with my current graphic card of a Radeon RX 580. It's about four years old. Now if I go into the colour section you can see that I've got a bit of noise reduction, a bit of white balance, sorted exposure, huge levels and saturation. I've got a bit of saturation on the go and I've got sharpness. That's all there is. That's the limit of my capabilities and that's all that we'll be playing in this. Okay so we go back to the render Okay, let's delete these jobs so I've got nothing going on, okay? And I'm going to call this Render Test 1, okay? 
I'm going to do it as a quick time H265 using my current graphic card of an AMD. Okay, and advanced settings. We're going to go for use optimized media, add it to the render queue. Okay, and then we're going to start the render and see how long it takes. Okay, it's now complete. It's taken seven and eight seconds to render this one small clip. Okay. By the power of editing, I am now back with my graphic card installed. You may notice that uh, DaVinci Resolve has changed. This is because when I tried to actually uh, render this little 32 second clip with DaVinci Resolve 16, it wouldn't play nicely with my graphic card. The new graphic card does not work or play nicely with DaVinci Resolve 16.2. You need to have, or well, I found out, DaVinci Resolve 17. And let's now crack on with the project again. So I've got the same 32 second clip. I'm now going to call it Big Wheel Test. Okay, I'm going to put it into my desktop. I'm still going to do it as H265 optimized for network. I'm going to add it to the render queue. Okay. The last one took seven minutes and eight seconds. Let's see how this one does. That is absolutely phenomenal. The same clip using my new graphic card and using the uh, NVIDIA to encode it. I've managed to go from seven minutes and eight seconds down to 2 minutes and 35 seconds. That is a massive reduction. Also, if I can ask you, please could you watch my little video of this little project? It's only six minutes long. It's my hometown. I thoroughly enjoy it. And I don't get many people looking at my stuff. So I would be most appreciative if you just took a little look at it. I hope you enjoyed my first little unboxing. Thank you.